Um, I'll be, I think they're just going to sit me for the rest of spring ball, but I'll be good to go in the fall. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I felt like with my knee surgery, I lost a lot of weight pretty quickly. So I kind of anticipated losing weight. So I kind of mistakenly put on a little bit too much in my opinion. So coming back from my shoulder, my shoulder surgery, uh, losing that weight back and getting back in a more football shape. Uh, 330 something, I don't know. Yeah, I'm right to this morning. I was 324, so feeling good. Uh, looking good, you know, improving our communication, seeing the field with through one set of eyes, and just kind of coming together and staying together as a unit. Looking good. Uh, it's been good. You know, we got to keep the same uh, mindset and same or same ideology uh, through this whole transition. And it's been good for us to kind of just keep that consistency throughout. Um, I mean, I feel like Nuri's just kind of finding the spot back again. And me, I'm kind of dealing with the whole coming back from injury. So I feel like we're both just making our way through the spring and just trying to get better each day, 1% better every day. Yeah, I feel like uh, I've, you know, been able to get uh, my feet underneath me. And since, you know, you kind of can't really move too much with surgery and all that stuff, I feel like I'm more agile now than when I was previously. Um, it's pretty much it's just what Rayola has been coaching. We're just uh, going with that We're, rule. Our coach rule does a good job of, you know, kind of putting his uh, touch onto certain things. But, you know, I feel like we're all just moving together uh, just one day at a time. Um, I feel like he's doing a good job of his pass protection has kind of improved, in my opinion. Uh, playing in his body because we're both big guys and uh, having that ability to use our size to our advantage. I feel like we're doing a, both do, both doing a pretty good job of using our size to um, help us protect the quarterback and block better. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's optional now. I'm doing it just because, you know, knee issues. So I'd like to, you know, I'm a little bit superstitious with that. I like to protect them. So I'm going to keep them on and if eventually down the road I get comfortable, maybe I'll lose him, but I don't see that happening. Were some guys like pretty excited to shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a, a pretty pretty big celebration once we realized that you didn't have to wear them anymore. And then we looked around the room, and I was the only one wearing them. So it was, uh, you know, not too much fun for me, but everyone else had a good time. Exactly, yeah. Um, well, you know, the green jersey is just kind of like, I'm, I'm, so I'm limited, so I, I can do the individual stuff. And then once we move to the live periods, that's I kind of go over to the pit is what we call it and go get some cardio work and stuff like rope works and all that stuff. I mean, it's getting me into shape, and especially since I want to be kind of leaning out and losing some, some of that bad weight that I had, I've appreciated it. You know, they pushed me to get me back into football shape, and so it's been good. Um, you know, I mean, he's, he, he'll get on us, but I, it, a lot of the stuff that we do in practice, we talk about in meetings. So if it's, if it's something that we continuously mess up or we're going to talk about in the meetings, and we're, he always says it's never as good as it is or it's never as bad as you think it is. We always just stay on one level plane, and that's just kind of the mindset you have to take in the meetings and be ready to get coached. Uh, there was, you know, it seems like you guys kind of moved the mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, we started that last year with the moving together and staying together. And that's kind of like how you have to have that mindset for the offensive line is that we're all five guys seeing through one set of eyes and moving together and staying together as a unit. That just kind of helps us, uh, you know, bond with each other and know that, hey, I'm with my guy to my left. I'm with my guy to the right. We're going to be together. Move as one. It's been good. Oh, uh, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I like him a lot. He's funny. Uh, definitely brings some uh, new energy to the locker room and uh, to the O-line room as a whole. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see him 
during the season. Um, I mean, I feel like we'd, we're just going to have to see. Uh, I feel like Coach Satterfield does a good job of mixing it up. And um, we have quarterbacks that can run. We have quarterbacks that can throw. So it'll be interesting to see how we use them all. Uh, I would say this, all the, everybody that's come in as a transfer so far, I feel like has done a good job of putting themselves in a position to get along with the team. Everyone brings a different you know, personality and energy with them. I feel like Jeff does a good job of bringing people together, getting with the O-line, kind of like what Casey did last year, getting with the O-line and just keep bringing everyone up with him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, this, I was saying the other day that I haven't played in the spring game since my freshman year, so uh, it'll be tough. I wish I could be out there with everyone competing, but I mean, I, it is what it is. I'll be, you know, long run, looking forward to the season and fall camp. I mean, it's, he kind of works his way around. I, I really don't know, because I'm kind of just focused in on the drills and stuff like that. So when he's there, like, he'll say something. But if he's not, I mean, you don't really notice. Do you notice Yeah, I mean, with the way that they talk, like, it's certain ways that they coach and go about coaching and things that they say, you can kind of tell that they've been around it, and they understand what the, the position is and how it works. So, I, yeah, you could definitely tell. Yeah, um, I feel like being able to coach up your teammates and being able to coach up the guys around you in a positive way, not like, oh, this is the way that you're supposed to do it, but like just kind of giving them helpful tips and you can tell, you kind of tell when some, someone's not really looking for that or like when they're looking for like coaching, you know how to like approach that now. And then I can also take that into my game because if I'm coaching and saying that, I can't just not do it. So like that brings into my game, like if I'm going to hold somebody else to this standard, I got to hold, hold myself to that standard.